Clive is not gonna take this sitting down. Gascard, you made a huge mistake, my friend. Huge mistake. You're going down. Take that, Dupuy. Alright, he's down. Come on, Quentin. Is that all you got? Oh. Possession of Nanette. Looks like it's time for a class combo. Nice. Cross. That's good. Took down her HP by a lot. Alright. Come on, guys. Oh, this is for mom. Get out of your possession of Alessa. Jeez. Ugh. I'm gonna need blood magic. You need a potion, Meryl. Come on, debuffs, come on, don't fail me now. Disoriented? I don't know if I have anything with disoriented. Do you think they're tiring? I'm tiring. Back off, you bother me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cross class. Archer's Lance. Thank you, Sebastian. Now what? Possession of Leandra. Oh, great. Hey, hey, hey. What are you guys up to? Get back here. Oh boy. Yike! Great. Potion. Oh boy. Stamina. On. Um. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Ugh. I only have a little left. Keep it up, keep it up, keep the pressure up. Alright. And now for Quentin. Come on, Quentin. There you are. You're mine. Debuffs. All around. Slow things down for you, too. I'm hurt. Ah, oh. jeez. Oh, All right. Um. Blood magic. Blood magic versus blood magic. Who will be victorious? Come on. 
Come on, Quentin. Is that all you've got? This is going very badly. Ooh, I need more potions after this. Where'd he go? There he is. Quentin, you are so going down. You've messed with the wrong blood mage. Oh no. Mom. Mother. Mom. I'm sorry I didn't get here soon enough. Sorry, Mom. There's nothing to be done. The magic that kept her alive. I knew you would come. You know me. I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Oh, Mom. I cried at this part, guys. This is the part of the game where I just teared up. Oh, that was so tragic. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? I know. Why Leandra? It doesn't really matter what the reason. It doesn't really matter why, but... I mean, he asked, so... There's no reason for me to keep it. Ugh. I'll tell him. The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same face. Uh. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Yeah, this is actually a pivotal moment in Clive's life because... I think this is the part where he starts questioning um, questioning blood magic, questioning himself practicing to be a blood mage, because this entire time, you know, he's been telling himself that blood magic is not innately evil, but this specific cut cut so deep, and it was so personal, that he can't help but step back and think about you know, is this something that he really, that he really supports or wants to be associated with? Because, yeah, he's used blood magic for good things, but this is just an awful, awful use, horrific, nightmarish use that was happened to his own mother, that a blood mage did to his own mom. So, yeah, I think realistically, Clive would be questioning himself and his role as a blood mage. Do you want them to lock me up too, uncle? I... I don't know. <sighs> you would have been better off if you were just normal like Carver. Yeah. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. 
I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I'm sorry. I hope you killed him. I did. Good. I hope it hurt. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Oh, Carver. Take care, my boy. Thank you, Uncle. You too. He was actually cordial with his uncle. Our uncle was actually cordial there. I heard what happened. Andy! I know nothing I say will change it. I'm just... I'm sorry. You were lucky to have her as long as you did. When the pain fades, that's what will matter. I'm really glad you're here, Andy. I really could use a shoulder to cry on right about now. I didn't try hard enough to save her. She wouldn't want you to blame yourself. You don't know my mother. No. And I'm sorry I never will. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thanks, Andy. Alright, guys. So as you can see, I have Clive in and dressed in black out of respect for his mother. Um, I don't think I can continue on, guys. I can't continue playing. Right. I think I'm gonna have to end the session here. Ugh, that was such a such a hor horrific, horrific scene. Powerful, but not very uncomfortable scene. Poor Clive. And Carver, too. I can't even imagine how upset he's gonna be, and he'll probably blame... Knowing Carver, he'll probably blame me for it, too. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Tune in next time, everybody, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.